So you might be trying to figure out how you can change your app icon colors on your iPhone. Now this is a pretty basic thing. We'll just go and use Snapchat as an example. So let's say we wanted to change Snapchat from this yellow icon to another icon. What we want to do is you want to look up, basically you want to get an image of that different icon. So it can be any icon for the most part. So I'll just do Snapchat icon aesthetic for example. And I can just Google this and I can go and find the particular one that I want. So if you want to change it from this you know, yellow one to the pink one or whichever one you want, you can go and find an image of it. You can even create your own image if you know Photoshop or anything like that either. So what we want to do is we want to just download this image. So now that once we've done that, I can go and just go into my Snapchat. So I have Snapchat right here. I'll go and delete this other one that I have. I'll just keep it. What we want to do though is we want to make our way over to our Shortcuts application. So come inside of Shortcuts. It's already built inside of your iPhone. You should basically have it by now. And what we want to do is we want to create a new shortcut. So tap on the plus button right at the very top. And what we want to do is we want to have this open app panel that comes up. So we want to click on open app and we want to choose the app of the image that we just downloaded. So we can tap on that little app panel. So open app, you want to click on app and you want to find that particular application. So in this case, it was Snapchat. So I should be able to find that Snapchat application, which is right here, as long as it's downloaded. And that's, we're like almost done, believe it or not. So what we're going to want to do now is we want to click on this little share icon that's at the very bottom right here. And we want to go and click on add to home screen. So tap on add to home screen. Now this is going to come up. Now I don't know what this is. I've never seen this, but oh, so this is just a layout of what it's going to look like. What we want to do is we want to choose this image icon right here. And from the bottom here, you should be able to choose your photo. Now this is different. This is not what it used to look like. So now what we can do is we can click choose photo then choose that icon we just chose. And we can go and click choose. Now, if you have the older layout, all you want to do is tap into that particular icon here, and then you should be able to choose the photo. So if you have the older one, this is the newer one. And now we're almost done. Now at this point, we want to go and change the name of our application, which I guess we can't even do here anymore. So it looks like you can change the text just by going through here and just deleting the text that way. So here you can choose choose this. You can then choose, choose photo again. So I'm just doing the instructions again. And then you should be good to go. And you can add the text by clicking down here and adding the name. So then when you're done, you can go and click add and you can see that we've now changed this particular application name or the icon looking like from there to this to this. So that's basically how it's done. It's a super cool little thing. As you can see when I zoom in, you kind of get a better idea of what it looks like and it does actually look pretty nice. So you can do this with basically an unlimited amount of applications that you want to go and choose from. So that basically covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.